Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, back up here with another layout update. I don't really remember what number it is. It's July 4th. Uh, happy Independence Day. Canada Day was uh, Tuesday the 1st. So uh, for you all you Americans, I hope you have a great long weekend. And, uh, and lots of fireworks and partying. Um, anyways. So last time we talked about the layout plan track plan this time we're looking at me actually laying some track so <clears throat> basically plan is I still gotta bring this back six eight inches fill that gap um, there's already enough room for me to chill out over there work over there stand normally without being crowded uh, I still gotta level it now that I've moved it that's not a problem I might pick up a couple more or see if I can get my hands on some scrap wood and uh, just finish off that side, make it a little more stable. But uh, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I got to tear out those shelves. Um, I can, in fact, I can, in as, as long as my gut doesn't rub too bad. <laughs> got to lay off the hamburgers. Uh, I can shimmy past that water pipe, no problem. So, uh, I mean, considering it's only in that one spot, I figure. It'll allow me to get all the way around, not to mention I can still crawl under uh, if I really need to, so that's great. Um, anyways, laid some track. Um, this is a basic plan. i got to pick up a diamond for over there. Uh, I'm going to use flex track for a lot of it. I mean, I'm, I'm using a mix of 22 and 18 radius curves, um, and I've actually got some 15s thrown in in awkward positions like that. Um, I, uh, I've picked up my, oh, sorry, my orders came in. So last time we were talking about how I had ordered a bunch of stuff Well, everything finally came in. Weeks ago, I had just been on crazy shifts at work, pulling, uh, 12, 13 hour days, 10 hour days all week. Uh, and I commute an hour. So that means, you know, a 10 hour day is a 12 hour day. Not to mention, I got to get up and actually get ready for work. So, you know, if I have to be in for, for seven, I'm up at, uh, well, I'm up at five, five quarter after five, and uh, if I'm pulling a 13-hour day, I'm not home till 9 p.m. So, anyways, it's all over. Things are back to normal. Um, so I got uh, in my model train stuff, picked up uh, rail joiners, foam nails, flex track pack of 12 tortoise switches, which uh, I'm probably gonna put them mostly on the main line. Um, use ground those for the rest. Some foam glue, some foam red road bed instead of the cork. I had meant I had talked about that last time. Um, and uh, four pico switches, the curved switches. Um, so I got two in uh, two in each direction. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I also ordered hundred feet each, so that's two hundred feet of this. 18 gauge wire, 100 feet of red, 100 feet of black. Uh, I got terminal strips off eBay. I think I got 30, maybe 25. Like 50 cents each, 75 cents each. Well, you know, China. Uh, free shipping. Takes three weeks to get here, but I save 20 bucks. Uh, LEDs, only three millimeters, but they come with the, the resistors. These are bicolors, so you uh, got one polarization, you've got green, you change it to the opposite polarization, you bring the current through the opposite direction, you got red. Uh, I figure I'm going to possibly try my hand at signals, and uh, I've just sparked a great idea. I've had to remake this video three times already, um, for one reason or the other. So, in doing so, I've actually had a genius idea where I'm going to construct myself a small board box slash yeah box I guess with all my switching controls basically on a tether with the wires to the underside of the layout so that no matter where I'm standing I can and you know I'll have a little spot maybe for my DCC controller and uh because it really doesn't need to be it can be you know that that size really maybe a little bigger maybe a little bigger and then add you know an extra couple of inches for the uh, DCC controller but uh, and just have all my switches right on there 
That way, I'm not stationary, and I'm not stuck somewhere, so that if I'm standing over there, because I'm not going to set it up DCC, right, for the switches. Um, that way, if I'm standing over there, I, I, you know, and my switch panel's over here, I don't have to get up. I can just bring it with me. I think that's so awesome. I'm going to really look at my options for that, because I think it's a really good idea, and I'd really like to try. I mean, I'm not handy. Well, I'm a little handy, but I've got good ideas. It's just my hands don't really follow through with things the way I'd like so we'll see <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> oh something caught um, I need to grab some more switches so basically I'm just mainly using my atlas switches which I tend to have retarded amounts of uh, left hand switches and no right hand switches whatsoever other than one um, so <laughs> that's inconvenient um, Oh, I have two. Two. But, uh, anyway. So, I've got to pick up some. I might get different ones. I don't know. Got to get the diamond, like I said. Um, and I'm, I'm leaving the yard for later. But it looks pretty good. I've made some minor changes. And I think uh, what I'm going to do is once everything's filled in, might have, uh, this is going to be water. Might have a backdrop in the middle. I don't really know yet. Um, just uh, just to split it up, you know, I, I or mount. Like, I don't see. What, well, I could do the pen, like I'm I'm basing it off the Ottawa Valley, right, which is where I live, and we don't have any giant mountains. We have this one big hill called the Pinnacle outside Renfrew. And it's big enough, but I mean, I guess I could. I don't know. I'll have to think of something. I'd like to split it up. If not, it's not end of the world. But I'd like to split it up. Um, to give it that more dynamic feel. Even if, even if, you know, I can see over it here, but, you know, at, at eye level, you can't, like, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, seven minutes. What have I not discussed? I don't remember. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Talked about everything, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so the plan is... Basically, lay out all the track, then connect all the track using, well, purchase any pieces I need, um, which is probably going to hold off till August. I've got two full weeks off in August, and what basically is going to happen is I'm going camping, well, camping if you can call it. My parents have a, a motorhome, and uh, as a Christmas present, they basically say, you stay in it for a week, we'll buy the groceries, we'll drive it wherever you want, that way you just show up and relax. So, we're going to use that and go to Smith Falls, and actually I'm basing part of this layout on Smith Falls, so that's really nice. So I want to take a couple pictures, because they've got a drawbridge, and if um, you remember me talking about Rice Harbor, the drawbridge right here is actually very similar, the one that they've done to the one in Smith Falls. So I thought, oh my god, that's awesome. Not to mention the hobby shop that I go to is about 10 minutes away from Smith Falls. So it's an hour and 10, 15 minutes from where I live currently, but if we're camping, I'm going to be there like gangbusters. There's also a knitting shop there. It's in Merrickville, which my girlfriend loves. So we basically make a day out of it and go and spend ridiculous amounts of money and enable ourselves. So that's great. Um... So I'll probably get the pieces in uh, in August, and uh, once I do that, I'm gonna connect everything with rail joiners. Make sure I've I've got a lot of the new track, so I pretty much figure I'll use whatever I can of new track. If I have to use older stuff, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna do whatever I can, but I I don't think I'm going to need to. The one exception would be switches, because I'm gonna try to use what I have, but. Um, like I think I mentioned in the last video, Ron had uh, sent me some feedback. And uh, until I make a final decision, and uh, I think I'm going to hold off on the yard because uh, he's given me some really great ideas. Um, and for the most part, they may not include Atlas switches totally, <laughs> which uh, isn't a bad thing. Just hurts the wall a little bit. So we're going to see. Um, I'm going to figure something out and uh, go from there but uh, at least purchase this main area any parts I need so then connect to rail joiners temporary power 
basically test everything, see how I feel. From there, I'm going to get some foam to put under it, put the foam on it, then lay everything out, drill my holes for power, and switch machines, basically, and start soldering all my joints. Because I don't plan on really tearing this apart. Um, and even if I do, what probably will happen is, um, if you remember I was mentioning, it's cut down the middle in two, so it's two by eight, two by eight, and a two by six. So, uh, I'm gonna cut the foam in, in two, two feet strips, so it's two by two by eight, two by six. That way, if I ever do need to take it apart, you know, I release the solder on that over there, take them out, and... The foam and all the rest of the track can stay on if I needed to. Oh, 10, 11 minutes. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, sorry I gabbed your ear off for another 11. going to be 12 minutes. Um, hopefully next time I make a layout update, it'll either be to the point where I'm rail joinered up and missing a couple of pieces or completely ready to go with rail joiners. Uh, and then after that, run some trains. I really want to keep everything level. I want to do everything right. I don't want to do stupid things. I watched more of my older layout videos and just uh, held my head in my hands and sighed because, you know, you see, <laughs> you know, a full inch, inch and a half under the track not supported and then I wondered why and you know and and the plywood bent and I wondered why I had derailing issues you know like oh guys guys oh anyways um so I want to do this right um once I get the foam on I can use foam road bed really excited for all this this is really interesting um I gotta re-sign up for model railroad rotor magazine because uh that's done next month and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, any questions, comments, concerns, um, or suggestions, please feel free to let me know if you want to private message me, if you want to request my email, um, by all means, do it. Um, I really appreciate any, any feedback um, to make the layout better, my videos better, anything, you know. Um, I can take constructive criticism. I can also take good criticism you know, I, I if I'm doing something wrong or something doesn't make sense, by all means point it out because that's the only way I can learn. Um, you know, I'm a young guy. I'm certainly not the best at everything. So what can you do except, you know, move forward and learn? Um, 13 minutes. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Enjoy your bacon. Have a great night. And uh, keep an eye out for my next update. All right.